Hi, I'm Peter Knight from Melbourne Golf Coach. You're probably wondering what I'm doing with a piece of rope. In fact, what I'm going to do here is demonstrate to you how force works in the swing. Why am I going to do that with a piece of rope? Well, if I hold the rope and swing it back and through, and we have a look at what happens in slow motion, You'll see that from about this point here, as I start to swing back toward an imaginary ball, all the way through until maybe about here somewhere, the rope's straight. Now the rope's not straight because I've pulled it. The rope's straight because there's a force going along the length of the rope. So it's going along this direction here toward the knot on the end of the rope. As I swing down, the rope is going along, the, the force is going along the end of the rope to the knot all the way down and all the way through. Now exactly the same thing happens in a golf swing. The club head might be moving towards the target, but the force is always going along the length of it. So when I reach impact, my club head's striking the ball, but the force is going down the length of the shaft and more toward the ground than toward the ball. This is a really important conceptual thing because most players have an, a conscious attempt to try and drive the club head at the ball. Now, if I swing a piece of rope, I'm not going to do it because it's going to flick up and hit me, but if I swing a piece of rope and try and flick it at an imaginary ball, all it'll do is it'll wrap around my hands or it will probably hit me. There's no way that I can use the force of the swinging rope to my advantage. When you're swinging a golf club, hold the club with your arms and your wrists fairly light, so you'll probably have a sense that you don't have a lot of control of the movement, Swing it back and through, but sense there's a force going down the length of the shaft. When you put a ball there and strike it, you might be very surprised at how much power you can get into the shot with a really small amount of effort. That's one way that you can use force correctly in the golf swing. If you enjoyed this video, then go to melbournegolfcoach.com.au where there's a whole lot more. And you can also book a line directly from the site with me, either online or in person. I look forward to catching up with you and helping you more with your golf.